Good evening, everybody. Welcome to day eight, Enhancing My Language Brain blog with Rachel Palin. And today was a, an interesting day because it was very hot and I confess that I had a very tired and hot brain all afternoon. So this morning started very well. I'm in my new habits, my meditation, no coffee, green tea, working with clients, going for some exercise. And in the afternoon, then it kind of went downhill. So I was observing how I could help the brain and I tried to have a nap. I tried to have little breaks. I tried to boost with some protein. And this evening it started picking up and now I'm fully focused and alert and I may do some work and take advantage of that and then some Russian before closing the day. So today has also been a day for me to reflect on this last week because I started the blog last Friday. My question to myself was, have I been more efficient and more productive this week? My answer is yes, absolutely. I do think that the new stimulus the testing the emotional brain in the caves and the precision brain with the archery and coming in and out of languages all week, the French, Spanish, even Italian I was speaking this week, plus I'm learning the Russian. And today I had some lovely feedback from my Russian coach, so Yelena Spasiva. Have I done what I wanted to do? Yes, I've definitely been working as normal plus I've been working on this manual three quarters of the way through and hope to hit it on the head this weekend and I'm going to continue you know we have a 30-day blog here uh, 20 more and more days left this weekend I'm going to a new location and I'm going to be bringing in new stimulus and I want to try new things over the next days I want to uh, tap into my default mode network so the daydreaming brain I also want to check into emotional trauma and how that can affect performance and learning as well and how we can help learners through those bad learning experiences or bad memories. So stay with me in the next days. Thank you for being there. You are great as my accountability. And this is something that I was also reflecting on. When we come into a coaching process and especially neuro language coaching, it's essential that we give this support to our learner, helping them to understand that they are being held accountable, but they are being strongly supported at all times. So join me this weekend for a very special blog this weekend. Stay safe and stay cool wherever you are and be gentle with your brains. They are absolutely the most amazing part of us. Have a good evening, everybody. Good night.